More than five years after the disappearance of Crystal Rogers, there have been several recent new developments in that case. It all started after human remains were found near the Nelson Washington County line two weeks ago. Although these remains have not yet been identified, the FBI has already taken over the case. Hundreds of agents are descending upon Bardstown to serve multiple search warrants. LX 18's Eleanor Buckley has the latest in this investigation. This past week, the FBI has been busy digging through years old information. Quickly after they took over the case on Thursday, more than 100 agents served multiple search warrants around Nelson County and spent several hours inside the home of Brooks Houck, Rogers' ex-boyfriend. And although no arrests were made, they did leave with a lot of property. One neighbor told us the FBI's involvement in the investigation is long overdue. Nothing's moved with state police, nothing's moved with the sheriff's office, nothing, you know, I mean, things need to happen for that family. And now the FBI Louisville is asking for the public's help in finding out more information on these two photos. The two new photos show two vehicles that were driving or stationed around several investigation points. This first photo shows a red SUV and a white SUV driving down Loretto Road near my old Kentucky home campground. No time was given though on when it was taken. The second photo was taken July 4th, 2015 at around 3.45 a.m. That's one day after Crystal Rogers went missing and her car and belongings were found on the Bluegrass Parkway. This photo shows an unknown vehicle with its headlights on traveling across Balltown Road near the intersection of Pascal Ballard Road, again not far from the Hoax family farm. And Crystal Rogers' mother, Sherry Ballard, who has been adamant about keeping her daughter's investigation alive by responding to hundreds of media requests throughout the years, has been silent these past couple of weeks as Rogers' family reflects on over five years of painful memories that are still yet to be uncovered. I do know it's coming, so I have to be patient for that. Eleanor Buckley, LEX 18 News.